And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mack. Um, <laughs> this is an emergency meeting. Us Cowboy fans. Tyron Smith is out. Um, supposedly, it's a torn hamstring. The team has not released an official statement. I don't believe. I'm checking DallasCowboys.com. Uh, and this is the worst possible time because uh, Michael Irvin and Jerry Jones, I believe, was on first take today. And they were in Dallas. Man. Yeah, that's that's wild. So yeah, no official word per DallasCowboys.com, no official word. Uh supposedly they were he, it was a running play. He tried to block Leighton Van Der Esch and uh his knee buckled. He went down to the ground. Uh he was he was assisted by the trainers. There was no noticeable limp. He got he walked on his own power. Um no brace, no, no nothing. So yeah, man, he uh, took the brunt of that, if you will. <laughs> <sighs> this is bad. Um, I looked up because this is third take I've had to make this video, so I I'm I'm tired. But um, depending on how severe it is, it's only a three. It's it can be any anywhere between three to eight weeks. The max, the max, though. It's 12 weeks. So if we take the max into account, just looking at the schedule, um, do not expect Tyron Smith until December. Just don't even don't even bother, because even though the injury might be healed in 12 weeks, he has to practice. He has to get back in football shape. Um. Hopefully, I know, I think he'll be able to, like, work out and stuff, at least do upper body stuff. But um, he's got to go through physical, physical therapy and all that good stuff, too. And, um, yeah, man. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be rough for him. It's going to be very rough for him. And I, um, I just don't know. Um, I went over the ro I went over the roster. Um, we don't have we don't have a backup tackle right now. We do not have a backup tackle right now. Um, these are your tackles, ladies and gentlemen: Isaac Alarcon, Josh Ball, Avante Collins, Ar Arman, no Aman Simon, and Tyron Smith, and Terrence Steele. Um, as I said, um, on take two of this video, uh, you can probably put Tyron Smith at right tackle. I mean, Tyler Smith, Tyler Smith is right now. It looks like the most is the band aid backup right now. In my opinion, Josh Ball, probably Isaac Alarcon. He has not shown that he can he can play tackle consistently at least. Not against first team guys, I'll put it like that. Um Terrence Steele probably could move to left tackle. Um I don't think he has the he definitely has the left the um the athletic ability, so he could probably shut down like the smaller speed rusher guys, your Khalil Max, Von Millers. But um he goes up against them Bolsa boys or Miles Garrett. It ain't happening. He's not going to be able to handle that. Um, and then, like I said, Tyler Smith, you can put Tyler Smith over there. He played tackle in college. Uh, and we don't know everything that goes on um, in that facility. They might have been working with him. It might have been working with him just in case something like this happened. Because, as a, I said it last year, man, I thought the Cowboys should have. Um, I thought the Cowboys should have. I love Michael Parsons. Love Michael Parsons. But I think the Cowboys, I, I, I thought the Cowboys should have drafted Rashawn Slater. And I think every Cowboy fan thinks they should have drafted Rashawn Slater. 
because we all knew Tyron Smith was not going to make it through the season. We just it just is what it is. Um, but now, now, you know, some you know loyal, loyalty is a good thing, but in times like this, loyalty is a very very bad thing. And I'm not saying they should have moved on from Tyler Smith, but I'm saying screw that man's feelings and find his and find his successor. Find his, you should have found his successor. Okay. Y'all didn't do that. Y'all didn't want to do that. So this is this is this is the price you've paid. We literally have nobody to cover that side of the field. Now, um, Going through some, doing some Twitter research. Isaiah Wynn with the Patriots, he's still available. And uh, Eric Fisher, the former tackle for the Chiefs, is still available. Um, The the Dallas Cowboys are bringing somebody in. They're going to have to spend some money and bring somebody in, whether it's through trade, um, because I highly doubt these teams are going to release anybody. I doubt these teams are going to release any tackles that are worthy of being backups or it or um, starters for any other team. The, the offensive line is very, um, what's the word, scarce in the league right now. So if you can find an offensive lineman, you're, you can, you're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, man. This is it's bad. It's bad. I don't know who they'll bring in, but they're going to have to bring in somebody. They're going to spend some money and bring in somebody. Um, as I said before, uh, looking at the schedule, don't expect Tyron Smith until December. I also did uh, the schedule. Um, there's a chance we can go. There's a chance we still have a chance to win 10 to 11 games. We have a chance to still win 10 to 11 games. Um, as far as the division goes, I, th- I don't I'm, um, I think we'll 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 sweep the Giants. We'll I think we'll split with Philly and I believe we'll split Washington because I don't believe in Carson Wentz. Um, other than that, I, I truly believe we have a we, we, have, we have a favorable schedule for the disaster that just happened. So, um, I have nothing to add to that. And, um, let's just hope for the best y'all. Cause this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. And, and they should have, they should have addressed this last year. Like I said, I love Michael Parsons. Don't get me wrong. I love Michael Parsons, but everybody and their mama knew y'all should have drafted, um, or Sean Slater. And then, then y'all moved back in the draft and he was still available. <sighs> I can't. Sometimes I can't with this team. I can't with this team, man. Y'all should have drafted Rashawn Slater. Screw Tyron Smith feelings. Y'all should have drafted Rashawn Slater. But that's neither here nor there. We're not going to worry about it. Um, until next time, y'all. It's your boy, Billy Mack. And I'll holler at you next time. Peace.